Dave Huddleston is live in our newsroom. He tells us the specific steps parents can take to keep their kids safe. Dave? Jovita, whether your kids are playing Call of Duty or one of the age appropriate games on the Roblox gaming system, police officers say parents need to do two things know which games their kids are playing and who they're playing with. Not a lot of people play it, and I'm really good at it. It's any given day at the Reeves house, and the girls are playing games online, talking with other players about how to win. A lot of different people, because there's because the games are normally really big. But it doesn't take long before the fun turns scary. Another online player stops talking about the game, but the girls themselves. They said, "You're cute," and they said, "Um, you gross." And then it happened to Isabella. This person, he asked. Would you like to go out? There was a sinking feeling in the bottom of my stomach, yeah. Okay, log in. Because Mary Beth Reeves thought she and her husband had done everything to protect their four girls from online danger. They monitor their accounts. Their usernames aren't their real names, and they could only play age appropriate games like this one found on the Roblox site. I thought we were pretty protected. I didn't realize that we weren't. That's where that active parenting comes in. Before he became Sky Valley, Georgia, police chief Vaughn Estes worked for the GBI in their high technology investigative unit. He knows how pedophiles prey on children using subtle techniques to gain their confidence to lure them in. And we've worked cases where people have talked children into doing things in front of their webcams that the, the, the parents walk in and they're horrified when they discover. Esther says talking to your children and monitoring their gaming is key to keeping children safe. So when someone does say something inappropriate, they'll speak up like the Reeves did. If they do that, at least then we have something to go on. But some media and law enforcement professionals say many parents don't talk about or monitor their children's online activity or report when their child has been approached online. Most companies are really more than happy to help. We talked with Eliza Harrell via Skype, a director with the National Center for Missing and Exploited Children. She told us parents need to be active in what children are doing online, but also understand the online gaming safety features. Roblox, the site the Weaves girls use, lets parents choose who the girls can chat with online and allows children to report abuse when they see it, which one of the girls did, but the other players were able to leave the game before the other girls could report it. Our experts and Mary Beth Reeves say being an active parent is the first line of defense to protect your child. We just have to try to, you know, educate them as much as possible. Keeping them in the dark is not going to help them. It's actually really important because if you're not responsible online, really bad things can happen to you. Words of wisdom right there. Police officers and gaming experts say it's extremely important to report any abuse or inappropriate activity. That way they can have that person banned from uh, future gaming sites and also they can also report it to the local FBI or police department. Now we understand parents have a lot of questions about online gaming. So we're going to continue this conversation, Jovita and Justin, on a WSB TV Facebook page. We're going to take questions from the audience as well as talk with police officers and gaming experts. That starts right now. Reporting live from the newsroom, Dave Huddleston, Channel 2 Action News. Thanks, Dave. I'm just so pleased you did this because at the end, I mean, the internet can't be a babysitter for children. That is, that is true. Sure. All right. Dave, thank you.